Now there's many ways to do the next step, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to name them different uh, names such as head, mouth, eyes, right eyebrow, and I'm going to uh, do that and pause that and I'll come right back. Let me show you how I've, I've done a few of them here. Head, mouth, eyebrow, hips, torso. Uh, let's go to the legs. So I double click on that, get rid of the number. I'm call this the right upper leg. Right lower leg. Double click. Like that. Goes pretty quick. Uh, left up. Leg. Uh, left lower leg. Okay, so those are my basic parts that I have, and here's my boy. I'm going to go. I'm in drawing view. Now what I want to do is I can take the individual with the selection, I can take the individual piece and I could do control X to get rid of it. And I go to where it's supposed to go. This is the torso. Now you have to to make this window active, you have to click in it and then control V. And it places it exactly in the same position as where you cut it from. Let's take the hips. Control X. Let's go to the hips. Click in the and place it there. So little by little, you just take this guy apart. Now this is not his right foot. Uh, I guess I go by his uh, what it would be called an actual the real world. His left foot. Control X. This is his left foot. There, okay. Let's do his right foot. You can do this in whatever order you want to do it. I keep going back to that original PDF. X left lower leg. Back to that. X right lower leg. Left upper leg, All right upper leg, and I'm going to keep on going through here till I get all of the pieces on their separate layers. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got everything broken down into the different pieces. Head the mouth as you can see here's all the other positions I'll show you how I put those in the right eyebrow left eyebrow the torso the hips arms all these different pieces and as it stands right now they're just individual pieces the mouth what I want to do there is a mouth chart with Toon Boom Studio where you can put the different positions and I like to make those additions here in the exposure sheet I like to take the first one right click I want to rename that drawing as the letter A and so the positions that you have in Toon Boom Studio for the automatic lip sync to work is A B C D E F G and X those are the different positions. I've added one more position which I call L which is for the letter L or TH where the tongue presses against the top teeth. Um, but in any case to add those extra cells you want to come down here to the second frame and double click type in a B hit enter C D E F G X and L. So that has made, as you'll see over here, all these extra little frames, but they're all empty. 
The only one that has anything is this one here. So now I'm going to select that. Let's go in a little bit. I'm going to copy that. And when I get over here to X, click up here and paste it because A and X are the same. Okay, I no longer really need that. And I'm using this one here as my kind of my position where it's the mouth is supposed to be. Now these are all individual little pieces. I'm going to take this just to be sure I'm going to group it control G. So that's a total piece. I'm going to take it over here. We want to kind of line this up as best we can, keeping it selected. Make sure that we get it right as close. You can use the arrow keys to move around. And now I'm going to do a control X. Go to mouth B and click in the frame and paste it. See? Remember back on mouth on mouth A, we still have all these, so I'm going to go through each one, I'm going to group, take it over here, zoom in a little bit, move it right where I want it, control X, that is mouth C, back to A again, go to the next one, this is mouth D, group it, bring it down here, get it right in position. X, go to D, back to A, okay, group, it's probably the most tedious part, X, that is mouth E, okay, let me pause this, okay, so here's my whole character, with each one of the elements, there's the, there's the eyes, the head, the mouth, eyebrow. Now the next thing that I want to do, I, I know you can't see the eyebrows or the mouth, I'll take care of that in a moment. But the next thing that I want to do is I want to group them together, attach everything together in a hierarchy. In other words, the upper arm will be connected to the torso, the forearm will be connected to the upper arm, and the hand will be connected to the forearm. So how do you do that? Well, first I'm going to take, okay, the eyes. Let's just go down the list. Now the eyes should be connected to the head so that when you move the head, the eyes move as well. Same thing with the mouth. Same thing with the right eyebrow and the left eyebrow. Okay. Now, the head should be connected to the torso. So let's connect that to the torso. The right hand is connected. You can just click and hold and drag to the forearm. The forearm is connected to the right upper arm. It goes there. The right foot goes into the right lower leg. Right lower leg. Left foot goes to the left lower leg. Left lower leg goes to the left upper leg. So now we have the various parts, the hips. Let's take, now we can collapse these so it's not so many things. You can see the head and all these different things. I want to take the, the leg and connect that to the hip, and the other leg connect that to the hip, and then I want to connect the hips to the torso. Right upper arm is connected to the torso. Left upper arm is connected to the torso. Okay, so that's my whole character.